The Battle of Temesvar was a battle in the Hungarian Revolution of 1848, fought on 9 August 1849 between the Austrian Empire and Hungarian Revolutionary Army supplemented by Polish volunteers. The Austrians were led by Julius Jacob von Hainor, while the Hungarians were led by Joseph Bem who arrived at the 11th hour from Transylvania. The Austrians were victorious. The Hungarians had only their southern division here, and although they had slightly more men than the Austrians, they lacked experience and good equipment. Henrik Dembinski, the leader of this Hungarian division, retreated from Sij just before the arrival of the army of Julius Jacob von Hainor, where the Hungarians had prepared defense lines. Dembinski was relieved of his command, and Lajos Kossuth asked Joseph Bem to step in. The Hungarians were stationed at the stronghold of Temesvar when they were attacked from Temesvar Castle too. The Hungarians did well for a while, but when Bem fell from his horse they could not hold the Austrian cavalry. Pretext Henrik Dembinski, the originator of the idea to join forces at Sijd, became the supreme commander of the southern Hungarian army. Even though Antal Vetter had a chance of getting this post, Dembinski commanded little respect because he retreated in 1831 and it seemed that he couldn't change. He essentially retreated from Sijd and left a legion with only four cannon at Ushijd. He was supreme commander of the Hungarian army at the Battle of Kapelnar and the Battle of Soreg, and lost both. The Hungarian army left their positions because they could push the Austrian army, which was crossing Ushijd, towards the river Tissa. But it didn't happen. Even though the Hungarians were defending their positions, Hainor crossed the Tissa to Ushij without resistance. Dembinski stationed his army between Moros and Soreg and Hainor started to move towards the Hungarian army. There was a small chance the Hungarian army could win if the Austrian army sent its cavalry against the Hungarian artillery or if Dembinski attacked the Austrian foot. But Dembinski was inactive even though the Hungarian cavalry defeated the Austrian cavalry's attacks and the Hungarian artillery defended their positions too. After the Hungarian army lost the Battle of Soreg, Prime Minister Bertalan Simia gave orders to Dembinski to retreat towards Arad because they wanted him to fight there. That position had many advantages. The River Moros formed a natural defense line. The castle of Arad was controlled by the Hungarian Revolutionary Army. Other Hungarian legions close by. The Hungarian population was in majority in that area. Dembinski retreated to Temesvar while the Italian legion, under the command of Monte Alessandro, helped the Hungarian army's retreat. The Hungarians were tired and had low morale when they arrived at Temesvar on 9 August. Joseph Bem was at Temesvar when they arrived, and he became the new supreme commander of the Hungarian army. Battle Fight for better position Hungarian plan The position of the Hungarian army was unfortunate. At Kisbeck's correct there were some cavalry and four cannon against the Austrian army. Kameti's legions became the left flank at Sakalhaza. On the northern east was Colonel Laszlo Gal's 10th Legion. Major General Richard Guyon with his 4th Legion was in the centrum and Major General Aristide de Zufi's 9th Legion was the left flank. Most of the centrum and left flank were stationed in the Sea Soka and Vadar's forests. The acute CSEY's 5th Legion surrounded Temesvar. From this legion most of the foot joined in Guyon's legion because of Bem's order. The Hungarian army couldn't retreat towards Temesvar because the Austrian army was defending the way to the city. Austrian plan Hainor didn't expect any fight on this day and wanted to move his legion to Kisbekskarek. Franz Schleich and his first legion had to advance to Vinga to block the Arad-Temesvar route. Franz Lichtenstein and his legion had to occupy Hodony and Mercy Falver. Georg Heinrich Ramberg and his third legion had to occupy Kisbeksgarek and Sarkalhaza. Ludwig von Walmode and Jim Born and his cavalry had to advance towards Temesvar and Fyodor Shidejvik's Panartian's 9th Russian legion had to occupy Kisbeksgarek too. 
The fight the Walmoden Legion bumped into the Hungarian rear guard around 8.30 a.m. After a short cannon fight the Hungarians had to retreat in the direction of River Nyarod. After a short while the 3rd Legion arrived to Kizbekskarek. Hainor with the Russian Legion and artillery also arrived Kizbekskarek and ordered his legions to advance towards the Hungarians and attack them. After that Hainor saw the Hungarians' army was advancing towards his legion. He gave the order to attack the Hungarians. He sent 12 cannon, then ordered 6 cavalry troops and 1 cannon to attack Hainor. It was successful and the Austrians had to retreat. Furthermore Hainor's legion mixed up the advancing Russian army. Hainor attacked back with 14 cavalry troops and sent an order to Liechtenstein that he had to advance to Szentendrus and attack the right, Hungarian flank. Bem's artillery was too enthusiastic and used up to their munitions quickly. When he sent for more munitions Bem did not know that Dembinski moved the spare munitions to Lugos. So Bem gave the order to Kamati to move forward on the left flank. Kamati sent his cavalry against the Austrians but they defended themselves. Another Hungarian troop surrounded the Austrians and made them to retreat. At this time there were 120 Hungarian cannon and 108 Austrian cannon. The Great Cannon fight stopped immediately after a while because the Hungarians didn't have more munitions. Hainor realized this and ordered the Austrians to move forward in the hope that Liechtenstein's reinforcement would arrive soon. This happened around 5 p.m. but it was not the same how Hainor had imagined because Liechtenstein's army was divided and arrived from two directions. Liechtenstein's army started to attack the Hungarians from the front and the side. The Hungarian army had to retreat in the direction of the river Nyarod. General Morpurchell tried to help to the Hungarians and sent his 9th Legion to Besenyo. But because no one wanted to command this legion they also retreated to Nyarod. Unfavorable turn Bem ordered Kamati to advance while he went to the right flank. But he fell off his horse and got injured and it meant that there were no one who could conduct the whole Hungarian army. Dzufi tried to stop Liechtenstein with his troops and three cannon, but the Austrian army was stronger and the 4th and 9th legions started to retreat. Dzufi had to retreat too, to avoid the Austrian army cutting him off. The Austrian army pursued the Hungarians. Retreat Perchel then arrived at the Hungarian rear guard to attack the pursuing Austrian army. They started to fire at the Austrian army, who returned fire more strongly, and the Hungarians started to panic. There were about 30,000 men who said they would desert after the first gunshot. The 9th Hungarian Legion shrank from 16,000 men to 7,000. Hainor captured about 6,000 to 7,000 men, the largest number of captives since the winter campaign. Aftermath there was no longer any chance the Hungarians could win the revolution, and after the defeat it became obvious that the Hungarians could gain no advantage from their capitulation. Every other Hungarian attempt to win a battle was unsuccessful. The battle was the last major one in the Hungarian revolution. During the retreat the Hungarian army broke up and just only half of it arrived at Lugos. Hainor left Temesvar. After the battle it was impossible to continue the revolution and the Hungarians formally declared their surrender at Vilagos.